Hello and thanks for tuning in. I'm Holly Shields. Welcome you all to another edition of Calkine TV's Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today we're narrowing in on Animated Technologies, which is a company that creates engaging 3D animations and immersive interactive apps to help visualize complex technical products. And the best way to do that is to sit down with Anna Burke, the co-founder and director with a keen eye for detail. Welcome to the show, Anna. It's great to have you with us. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on. First of all, we know that businesses with very technical products have a need to showcase these designs and paint a clear picture for stakeholders. So how exactly does animated technologies make this a reality? It really sort of comes down to the, the basics of, of what we do. The, the, uh, it's finding out what our clients really need the content for, what are they trying to communicate uh, and what their target audience is. Once we find out this sort of information, it's kind of, you know, that's like the sort of marketing foundation of a lot of products that are out there. So with this information, we can really sort of find out, right, what is the best way to showcase that? What's the best way to visualize that? And that's where we bring in the animated content to really kind of tell a story for our clients exactly what their what their problem is, what they're trying to communicate, and what they want to get out the uh, you know out the other end. So you definitely base it on their their audience per se. Yeah, definitely because it, you're creating animated content. The, what the work that we do is mainly marketing sort of um, based animated content rather than training content. Um, so you really try to catch the attention of people and find out what appeals to them so when you find out what the target audience is and what they want to see then you can create the content that works for them well that does make perfect sense and you know i have to say your animations are incredibly detailed and realistic it's actually almost hard to discern them from the real thing so i can imagine it must take a pretty high degree of expertise to bring these products to life it is it is a, a specialist or technical job and i think the the development of the, the software and the technology that has improved over time has definitely reflected in the work that we can create. So um, it's really the, the software programs and the, the games engines, you know, a lot of uh, gaming software that is created. We use a lot of that software to create the animated content that we use for our technical companies as well. That's actually interesting to, to think about. It does make perfect sense when you say it, but. Uh... I suppose that uh, that degree of uh, graphic design and a high level of detail there is often used in the in the gaming industry. So it's interesting that you work with that. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's a lot of the the animators uh, that we use as well have come from a gaming background. So they've all sort of learned with uh, either Unreal or Unity, uh, the software platforms that you might uh, have heard. Um, so yeah, well, it sounds like you have a great team on board there. And uh, one thing as well, I'd love to know is how great the demand is for realistic 3D animated solutions. I mean, I can imagine it's skyrocketed quite a bit on the back of the recent manufacturing boom. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think with B2B, which is mainly the sort of industries that we work with, there is a, a demand for illustrating what you do and your technical processes and getting people to understand what it is that you do. Um, but it is quite a competitive sort of um, platform. So it, yeah, for, for one company to try uh, create the content that is gonna really engage with their, their target audience, there is, there is a big demand for that, yeah. Right, and I can imagine that it has ramped up in recent times and uh, I'd say perhaps that your company has grown with it. It definitely has grown. We, we're still a fairly new company. We're not startup, but we're in our coming up to our fifth year now. So we're we're sort of establishing ourselves within the area and within the local and within the industry that we're in as well. So we're we're definitely growing. It's great to hear. It certainly seems like you're picking up steam there as well. And uh, you know, we chatted just before on your your clientele. You know, so uh, it's got I, I can imagine quite an expensive, expansive, I should say, uh, portfolio of clientele animated technologies, you know, from broad to, to niche markets, as I understand it. Could you maybe tell us about the various industries that you work with? Yeah, so we try and focus mainly on companies that work within STEM, the STEM areas, so that's science, technology, engineering 
and mathematics. Not that we deal with mathematical companies <laughs> or anything like that, but it's the STEM industries that we work with. Uh, but we are seeing that we are uh, we've worked with uh, within the aerospace companies. We're planning to work with uh, nuclear industries as well. Um, but the the sort of areas that we um, have touched on as well is sort of medical uh, and in Internet of Things as well with sensors. So industry wise, I think if your company has something technical, uh, then that's kind of the challenge that we thrive off then is to try and visualize that and communicate that. It's really interesting to uh, to hear. And uh, are you perhaps expanding, open to expanding your uh, industry portfolio and perhaps your, your clientele as well to other markets or other geographies potentially? Yeah, I mean, we've worked uh, with a lot of companies. We've worked with, we're based in North Wales in, in Anglesey in the Sides Park here. That has got a lot of connections with, with Ireland and, and, and other Eastern European countries. So we've worked with um, a lot of companies outside of, of our country, and we're, we're open to, uh, to the conversations with anybody, really. So, yeah. That's great to hear. And I'd love to know as well what we can look forward to seeing from animated technologies in the year ahead. I think we're mainly focusing for the next year. It's obviously, it's kind of a continual sort of uh, growth and ambition within the company to, to improve the services that we offer, but also with uh, virtual reality in particular, um, developing our virtual reality sort of training areas um, and work with language technology that we've got a lot of connections with within that VR space. That's interesting because uh, that, that space is uh, developing as we speak and it's something that, uh, say, the metaverse is something that uh, not everyone can quite conceptualise. So it must be quite the challenge to, uh, to put that into visuals. It is. And I think people are of a certain age are almost against the metaverse because they don't understand it and they see it as a young, new technology. But as soon as people try on a device you know one of the like we use the oculus 2 headset because it's got um it's got cameras out the front so you can actually hand use hand tracking to track rather than using um uh you know the controllers to track what what you're doing within that space so um yeah it's it's a really exciting sort of area to work in Absolutely. And the technology is certainly incredible, as you mentioned. So uh, it'll certainly, certainly be great to, uh, to see what you do with those visualizations and animations. And uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on everything you have in store in the, in the upcoming years. Thank you. Thanks very much for your time today, Anna. It's uh, really been great to have you on Executive Corner Expert Talks. And uh, thanks very much for sharing all your insights. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to have you on. Thanks for your time as well, viewers. If you've just joined us, that was Anna Burke, the co-founder and managing director of Animated Technologies, doing some incredible work in the space, so keep an eye out. As we say here, stay prized and invest wise with Calkine.